Okay, so in the last video, guys, we have seen all the theory things of a GR and all the theory things of the invoice and payment. So same things we will try to make it what in SAP system. So as I've seen, as you have seen in the notepad also, to create a GR or to maintain a GR or to process a GR, we are doing it against the purchase order. So what we need to create first in the system, purchase order. So let me share my screen again. Okay. So are you able to see the screen? Everyone? Okay. So now let me create a quick PO. So PO, you know, we have seen in previous classes. So I'll take my regular vendor one zero one zero and we'll create a PO for two materials. You may create for three also. It's up to you. So delivery date will say 30th November. Plant will give thousand storage. Okay, price is coming from master data, so leave it as it is. So now this price has come from master data. So one piece of M zero is for how much? Six hundred and thirteen rupees. This is comma means in German it is. How many pieces I am ordering? So it becomes like. 613 into 100 that is 61,300 and one piece of M02 is for how many? So that becomes 10,000. Okay. So how many pieces I'm ordering? 100 each for both the materials. Correct. Plant is 1000 and warehouse is triple. So how many line items guys? Okay. Two line items, 10 and 20. So let's save this. So after saving, what you are going to get guys? PR, sorry, PO number 45000171761. Okay. Double click, copy, control C. Now go to the T code slash and MIGO. You can go through the path also logistics, material management, inventory management, goods movement. And what is here? MIGO. Or else you can just go to MIGO. So go to MIGO. Quickly we'll see the tabs. What is this left side? Show overview, hide overview. Same like document overview. Here you can see your last created GR numbers, PO numbers. If you don't want to see, Right. This is a create fresh page. What is this? If anything is missing, you can hold. This is check to check post means save control S B kar sakte ho. What is this as of now? A01 goods receipt. If already I have done goods receipt, I want to see the goods receipt. What will I select here? If I've done the goods receipt it is wrong. Cancellation. I've done the goods. Receipt. I got the material. I want to send the material back to the vendor. I, if I want to send the material also to other place, you can also do goods. See goods receipt means accepting the material goods issue means leave, like sending the material. Okay. But as of now, we will stick to what we are doing. What we are doing now with reference to which document purchase order here. If you want to put the plant put, but optional doesn't matter here. You have to give your PO number I had copy pasted. If you don't remember, you have this pin. Go inside and try to find the PO if you have not copied. Okay. Go to the right hand side end corner. This 101 is what? Movement type. If you don't know, go to the pin and find your movement type. So GR movement type, I've told you what it is. 101. So give this PO number and hit enter. So guys, how many materials did you populate here now? Line one, line two. Why two lines? Because we have ordered how many materials? Two materials. So because of those two lines. Okay. So now first line is in which color? Blue color. Why? Because this line is selected. I'll show it to you. What is this delivery note? I've told you in the theory class. What is this bill of lading? So all these in real time, you will have those numbers with you in header data. Today you are posting the document, document date. And in this month, we are doing the transaction, which month? November month. Okay. So that's a posting date. So guys, all these things have directly come from where? From your PO. Why? Because reference is what? PO number. So let's come bottom. So here, what you have to do, see guys, can you see line one here? Because of that line one, that line is in blue color because here it is what line one. If you want to go to the next line, you can click line number two and use these or use these arrows also to go to the next line. But as of now, what line is selected first, what you have to click here is item. Okay. Means whatever material has come to you, you're going to take it inside. Yes or no. So that means what you're clicking here item. Okay. Now go, which material are you taking inside? Tell me. What material was on line one? M01. How much quantity have you ordered it? 100. Can you edit this now? No. 
quantity in unit of entry how much vendor has sent you he may send you 50 also for now so if you have sent half quantity what you will do in entry 50 in sku in stock also how much unit is coming 50 now it got updated and if you go at the top sku means stock keeping unit here also how much is updated 50 pieces are updated okay now come down except for this account we'll see all things partner who is the vendor PO number, obviously, what was the PO number? 61. Okay. Inco terms also is there. You go to where? Inco terms and payment terms, I'll tell you in the next class. What is the plant? What we are using? All these things have come from PO itself. Can you change the plant? Last moment, but you can change the warehouse. If I want to put the material in triple zero warehouse, it got updated. So, but from PO, what we had used? So I'll use the same thing, but I'm just saying you can change it. Okay. And if I go to the right hand side, can you see stock type here? So how many stock types are there? Unrestricted, quality and block. So if I put here unrestricted, how will you read your GR guys? So depending on the material, you can do it. Line one, on line one, which is the material? M01. Line one page of material, hai, uske how many pieces are okay for unrestricted use? If you select quality inspection, how will you read your GR? Line one, page of item, hai, uske 50 pieces are okay for quality inspection. If you do block line one page or item, 50 pieces are okay to block. Understanding what I have selected now? Unrestricted. Did it, did it complete my GR? No, because I have one more line. What is that line? Click that two. I clicked here too. Abhi, what came in blue now? Same. First went in black now. So line what here it is? What you'll tick first? Which material is on line two? In how much quantity had we ordered? Suppose this also has reached how much? 50. Where you can give this whatever you want. If I want it to, for quality, what I'll select here? Quality. PO number, is it the same? Partner, is it the same? Yeah. So go up. After doing all this, here you have vendor also these tabs. What is the vendor or? 1010. Here you are going to click on what guys? Save. You will get a GR number at the bottom. So here. 56. Double click here though, it will come in a big screen. So whatever GR number you have got. I think the screen is right. Okay, so this is your GR number 5647001. If you want to display, you can go here and click on what here? Display and see the GRM. Now is my GR closed, PO closed? No, because I had ordered 100 pieces of each material and I have got how many? Still 50 are even. Next week you get all 50. Then again come here and paste the hit enter. How many are remaining? See now here. Forever. So now tell me guys, you need you should know better now. Line one, what you'll click first? Which material is on line one? Yes. How much quantity you had ordered? How much you had already received? Okay. How much are remaining? Okay. okay. See here you can see that. Understood? Okay. Ordered, received, and how much are left now? Suppose now vendor sends me 25. What will I do here? Enter you put up 25. Again, how many will remain? 25. But now I'll take all 50. Okay. Where? Whatever you want, you give there. Same PO number, same partner. Next row you click. What line came here? Line 2. Again, it is item. Okay. Again, it is same for that also. Again, I'll click on what? So how many GRs you did now? But how, how many POs? One. Okay. Now again, give the GR number. PO number. Did anything come? Down you are getting one message. PO does not contain any items. Because whatever we had ordered, everything so nothing is getting populated. Understanding your work. So this is your order, guys. GRN. So similarly, I'll go for invoice. What is the T code? M I R O. So go to M I R O, see the transaction at the top. What it should be? Invoice. As I told, invoice is not that important for your interview for practical at least. So invoice date today, suppose where whichever day the bill has come. That is your invoice date when you are posting. That is today's date. Posting means you are adding it in the system in this month. Invoice date on the bill, what date is mentioned? That date you can add here. What with what reference you are doing uh, invoice? PO. So some people I tell reference because of that they add the PO number here. Because what then it is reference. That is a different number, like DN number. PO you can see here. See this. So you have to add your PO number here. If you don't know, you don't know the PO number. You can click the pin and try to find it. Did I copy the PO number? Yes. So what I can do here? Paste. Hit enter, guys. Okay. There is some issue in Chiranjeevi system. 
One second, I guess. <clears throat> We can ignore all these things. There are some customizations which are done, so because of that. Do this anything this is just i'm creating a new material new vendor because existing material there are some customizations which i was doing so because of that it has been locked Same example I'll take guys, don't get confused, just I'll change the material. 100 rupees I'll keep, euros for one piece. View number one seven six two slash and MIGO. So same I'll do GR again. So first I'll take fifty fifty inside. Again, how many are remaining now? 50 and 50. So line one item, okay, we'll take all 50. Line two item, we'll take all 50. Now let's try to see invoice, whether it will allow us MIRO. So 02.11.2.23. Now here I'll give the PO number. What was that? 62. Now it allowed me. Now see here, guys. Now I don't have a real bill, but you can see. How much quantity I ordered? And one piece was for how much? 100 rupees. So totally, what is the amount? 10,000. For second material also, how much it is? This data is fetched from my PO. This data is fetched from my PO. So total, what is the amount now? 20,000. So if you see your balance, what is this? With a minus sign. If this is my order, bill also should be of how much? 20,000. So that balance should be how much? Zero. No. See, I have ordered 20,000. I have got the bill also of how much now? So is the order and bill matching? Yes. So that means what is the balance now? That means order and bill match. So suppose I have ordered of 20,000 and a bill, bill I got of 22,000. Is the order and bill matching? What will you do to such a bill? I told you block and do the all the PO amendments or get the supply. So I suppose I got get two bills, one of 15,000, one of 5,000. Is it matching now? No, my order is 20,000. I get two bills, 15,000, 5,000. Is it matching now? Yes, so multiple bills you have matching still okay. But supplier says no, this is the only one bill of 15,000. But now is it matching? No. So if it's not matching, you cannot make the payment. Now we will assume that the bill is matching and we'll make that balance as how much? Zero. So from my order, the order is of how many euros? 20,000. And bill also I get of 20,000. So you have to just copy this number and here you have a minus sign. 
there you have a minus sign and what is this amount which is in blue color copy paste the same amount if it is matching hit enter okay not many issues due to this customization So let me tell you at least I'll share in other system. So guys, what happens? I'll tell you again due to this customization, everything is fading my data. So here, if you go, what is the amount here? 20,000. So what happens? I'll tell you, you can copy this 20,000. As I said, you will paste here and the balance will be how much now? Zero. It will match now. Then just you have to control this. You will say you will get an invoice number at the bottom. Apart from that, if you want to block a bill, what will you do? As I told you in theory also, we'll go to which tab here? Payment. And here it is free for payment. Instead of free for payment, what you'll do here? Then your bill will be what? Block. How to release a blocked bill? MR, PR. That thing what I've given you in the theory class. Details. What this tab consists, guys? Now, 20,000 euros. Is it a, it is a planned cost. Correct? 20,000 ka order, hai, it is a planned cost. Last moment, vendor pays toll naka, toll naka payment, some packaging. What was this plan? Suppose no last moment vendor had to bear those expenses. So was, was that an unplanned cost or no? So whatever unplanned cost you can add here, see here euros and here you can add unplanned delivery cost, whatever it is. Tax, tax codes. If you want to add, you will, you can select tax codes for domestic vendors. They use GST for now. You don't add tax code. So once you save, you get an invoice number. So because of this system, customization is not allowing me. Immediately after this, I'll show you it in our regular system. Okay. How it is, how it happens. So nothing else is there. You have to just copy paste the amount and save if it is matches. Okay. Now, if I want to see the history, how do I see guys? I have told you in theory also, I go back to my purchase order. I will on my PO document overview. What is my PO 60 to go here? See the status in header data. How much we had ordered? How much got delivered GR invoice? We couldn't save because of authorization issue. If you would have saved the invoice invoice, we get 200. This is in header data. If I opt this off this and I on item details, sorry, this here, you have a tab PO history at the right side. How much we had ordered 200. How many times we did the GR? Both the numbers are here. You can click any of the number. It will take you to the display of that particular document. Understanding or no guys. So this is your GR and what invoice. So here your P2P cycle ends P2P cycle 60 to 70% of your interview and sometimes hundred percent of your interview is only on this side, but there are a lot many questions which should be asked this. We have done practically theoretical, but we haven't done like experience question that obviously will record in interview video, but this is the overall what we have to do. So after this, we will give you, I'll give you exercises for PR to invoice. So starting, you'll feel difficult to work on that. Okay. Because seeing SAP and working on SAP are two different things here. When you start working, you'll get many errors. So how to work that you will understand. So let you let, let the errors come. You will understand. You'll rectify once or twice. If you practice those exercises enough, you shouldn't practice again and again. Okay. So let me stop the video as well now. So one class we have sent of theory, one class for invoice for GR and invoicing.